and now we are going to use the backscatter detector. So I switch on the camera, tick the RBED, so now you can see the scat detector is in. Switch back to the image mode, use the auto contrast, and focus the feature which we used before is the hole. So now we need to retype in the offset because we put the you know the backscatter detecting you changed a bit. Okay, now if you are happy with the focus, we are going to switch to the BED detector. So now you see it's different. We need to use the slower scanning speed, otherwise there will be lots of noises. So now you see the image is quite fuzzy because we use the charging frame mode. So we're now going back to the normal mode. Normal mode. And now you can see the image quality has been increased significantly. Just bear in mind the working distance is still 10 millimeters and the Z is 10.4. The offset is 0.4 millimeter. See? Uh, there is another mode which is a high definition mode. I never use this one, but it's just for demonstration. Freeze, go back to find one. So now I want to move up the stage to four. So the first thing I need to do is to switch the beam off and then retract the detector. So use camera and then do the you know the working distance to four. Double check the image. It's quite scary, but it, it should work fine, so don't worry about this. So now the detector is back in. Click the ACB. So now the quality is much better, I think. There is also focus, so now we need to do the focus. You can see even though the magnification is 1700, but it still can focus the image quite well. Okay, take the image again. So now the contrast is much better, and the image is kind of more sharp. Let's save it. Now I want to check other detectors image. So for example, the UED, but we can't see nothing. So it's just a noise. The reason for that is the backscatter detector is still in. So maybe this is the reason, but I need to double check with the engineer. So you check the USD is the same thing. Uh, UED is upper electron detector and USD is upper secondary electron uh, detector. So the only difference between them is the UED and LED has kind of some backscattered electron information, so which give you the kind of backscattered image. So now you can see for for the uh, lower electron uh, detector, you can see some kind of orientation contrast. So you can see the green boundary or or different greens. But for the USD. Uh, this kind of information is quite weak.
And now we got our ED images. So if we want to get the UED or USD, we need to retract the uh, RBED. So now here is a um, multi view. So it's kind of it's nine images. So you can see because you have two detectors with backscatter and LED. So you can you can choose uh, four channels maximum. Um, also the image you can show multiple images as well. So now we retract the RBED detector. Uh, when you retract case, the focus has been changed. So you need to refocus again. When you go back to the image mode. So whenever you see the bright image, just click the ACB. It works perfect. So we need to find a feature. Okay, use the um, dust on the top. But for your image, never use this. Because this is kind of contamination. And it, it will not be perfectly focused if you find a feature on the top of the surface. Okay, if you're happy, then you can choose to another detector. So this is UED. Now we take the images. So you can still see the contrast, the green orientation contrast. And when we're going to use the UED and when we're going to use the LED, it depends on the working distance. So if the work distance is like 10, use LED only. But if the work distance is like 5, 4, 3, then you can use the UED and USD. OK, now let's go back to the USD. Whenever you want to change the detector mode, make sure your image is not freezing, otherwise you can't change any mode. So now this is USD, not donors. Um, so you can see the green orientation contrast. You can still see some, but it's not quite sharp at all. But anyway, because we have the backscatter detector, so if you, if you want to get the best contrast image, use the backscatter detector.